Hallelujah. This is the Sanctuary of Praise and Worship Center. And we are upcoming. Uh, we have our women's conference on Friday the 6th, 7th, 8th um, of August. We will be having our, our conference, our empowerment conference. Our, every year we have the same conference. Amen. So we bless God for all of you being, hallelujah, a part of the conference. Those of you that can come out or watch via um, Facebook Live. Now listen, all our services won't always be live. So um, I think all of you that are so used to watching us, so used to, you're so used to watching us, you know, you're like, oh, I don't have to come out of church because I can watch it on Facebook or wherever. No, you need to come out. The Bible says, forsake not the assembly of yourself together. Glory to God. So we bless the Lord for all things. We're going to receive the offering at this time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. You can come. Elder Bay, I'll give you my offering. We bless God for everyone in the house of prayer today. Bless God for all of you that came out on yesterday to um, for our outreach and our evangelism. Bless God for all of you. Bless God for Sister Boone and we bless God for Ella Stewart and all the saints that were here yesterday. Listen, I, I shouldn't start calling names because when you start to call names, then you forget people. <laughs> and then people get, you know can get a little sensitive. So I'm not going to call any more names, but um, we bless God for all that came out. Amen. Yes. God is truly a wonderful God. Yes. Father, we thank you for these gifts that we're about to give into the work of the vineyard. Multiply 100 fold return, we pray. Even now, in Jesus' name, you are worthy, you are good, and you are God. We bless you for doing it even now. Thank you for provision, Lord, we pray. Amen. Glory to God. As we said about the um, the announcements for the when the conference in uh, next month, and then also remember we have our ladies' lounge on this coming Tuesday at 7 p.m. Glory to God. Every Tuesday, the season the season will end in September. Amen. Bless the Lord. And then also remember we have our Friday night prayer and the word at 7 p.m. Glory to God. Amen. So we bless God for all of you uh, joining in. Hallelujah. Those of you that are watching, you know how to give. Hallelujah. You give on the Facebook page here. There's a link. Or also you can go to our church page, www.sanctuaryofpnw.org. And you can see the giving link right there. Amen. Bless the Lord. At this time, praise God, we're going to receive the word of God coming today from our one and only Elder Grace Miller. She will be bringing the word Amen. today. Glory right to God. We bless you, God for her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She's coming. Amen. Hallelujah. To the podium. We bless God for Amen. her. She is my sister in the blood and through the blood. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My gosh, hallelujah. Her name was Aldridge, but she has been Miller for most of her life. How many years now? Almost 30. 30 years. No. More than 30. 36. 36? 36. Oh, let me see. This is, okay. 30, uh, 36 years. Or 30, no, 35. 35 years. Amen. <laughs> oh. Hallelujah. I have to remember when it's her anniversary. <laughs> but God is good. Praise the Lord. God. Praise the Lord. God. So Elder Grace Miller Church, Church Elder Grace Miller. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints of God. For a minute there, I forgot how long I've been married. <laughs> oh my Lord. When you've been married for so long, you know, yeah. after the first year, you count up until the first year, then after the 10 years, then you don't really count anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but I thank God because he is a sustainer. Yes. And I tell you, um, that song bless my heart this morning. Amen. Uh, goodbye to my pain yes. and my sorrow. Yes. So long, bye-bye. Bye-bye to the pain. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is good, saints. I'm thankful to be in his house another time. And as we say this morning, I'm glad to be in that number one more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Lord, I'm glad to be in that number one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Truly, it's an honor and a privilege as I stand before you this morning. I want to give the pastor um, um, thanks, honor, honor her as she honors God for using us here yes. as ministers Amen. to help to share the word of God with you. Yes. Yes. I'm telling you, saints of God, it keeps you on your P's and your Q's. Because you don't know when she's going to call upon you. Amen. <laughs> I always ask her to give me notice. And she'll tell me, um, there's going to come a time when I'm not going to give you any notice. Amen. So you're going to have to always have the word of God in your heart. Amen. And you have to be always ready Amen. with a sermon. Amen. 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 Praise the God. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father God, I just want to continue to give you thanks and praise for this another day that you have allowed us to see. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that this word will fall on good ground today, Lord. On good soil, O oh God. And I pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will water with word, O oh God, that it may grow, grow in somebody's heart, grow in somebody's mind oh god so that your name will be praised your name will be lifted up because it's all about you yeah. it's not about me lord i pray that even now you would hide me behind the cross and lord just use me lord use these lips of glory mine oh god you, use these words oh god to the glory and honor of your name amen this morning, our text is taken from Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Mm, bless God, bless God. Isaiah chapter 9 Wonderful. and verse 6. All right, Elder Mel. And it goes as thus. I enjoy it. For unto us. A child is born. Hallelujah. Unto us a son is given. Unto us a son is given. On the government shall be upon his shoulder. Messiah, yes, uh -huh. which is an English 
oratorio composed in 1741 by German composer George Friedrich Handel with scriptural texts taken from the Bible. My focus or topic today is Everlasting Father. Okay, all right now. I think it is safe to say that we all know who and what a father is or should be. For, ref for reference, you can check out our uh, Father's Day um, sermon that was preached by our elder Stuart who listed all the qualities of a good father. Amen? Oh, yes. Amen. Good father. All right. We know that the Bible speaks a lot about our Heavenly Father, yes. and that one part of the Holy Trinity is God the Father. Merriam-Webster's definition of everlasting is lasting or enduring through all time. In other words, eternal. As an everlasting father, he does not die or leave or take vacation from his office of fatherhood. Yes. Oh, yes. One comment that is prevalent in today's society is absentee father. Yes. That is not and will never ever be God. Never. He will never be absent. Oh, yes. In preparing this message, I googled how many times the Bible mentions these two words together, everlasting father, and came up with zero results. The closest words are everlasting God. Found also in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 28. The Nelson Study Bible describes everlasting father as a king and father who provides for and protects his people forever. I find it appropriate that pastor would choose to give me this topic to speak on and she could have given me another topic. She could have given me Prince of Peace, for instance. It is fair to say that everyone who knows me knows that I love my earthly father very much. Yeah. We had a special relationship, probably because he was also born in the month of January. His birthday was January 8th, right. and mine is, fifth, is one week after, January 15th. Yeah. Well, yeah. If I could think of two words to describe my daddy, they would be provider yeah. and wise. Amen. Oh, Praise God. Yeah. I left home officially at 26 years old, the day when I was going to get married. In all my knowledgeable years, I have never seen my daddy without a job. As children, we were never in need of anything, nothing. As a team, my father and mother worked together. So mama would tell daddy what we the children needed and he would give her the funds to obtain it. We were never hungry. We were never naked. When it was time for us to go back for the new school year, we had all our supplies. All we had to do was ask and it was provided. Daddy was a provider. Yes. Oh my God. If my memory serves me correctly, I was only upset with my daddy one time. I wanted to go to a party with my girlfriend at the time. And I went to my mama. She said, what did your father say? I went to daddy. Daddy said, what did your mother say? And it was back 
and forth, back and forth. So when he finally gave me permission to go, it was like 8 p.m. at night. And then he told me I had to be home by 12 midnight. Things of God, I wasn't even ready yet. Because back in the day, you can't, even, you can't assume that they're going to say yes. So you can't go and get yourself ready and go ask them. You have to ask them first. And then after they give you permission, then you go and get ready. Amen? So you can imagine, I was really, really upset. I'm like, Daddy, it's 8 o'clock now. By the time I leave here, it's 9 o'clock. And you want me to get back here by 12? I'm upset. I was upset with him. That was the only time I can recall being upset with my daddy. Because, you know, it, when what time was I going to get to the party to leave at 12 o'clock? Anyway, thanks be to God, he gave me a little leeway. Amen? Because, you know, we had curfew. If you did not get back home by the time they tell you to get back home, I'm sorry, Saints, you, you were going to have to spend the, the night on the terrace. Spend the night on the terrace because one of my siblings might open the grill at the back, but he, he or she was never allowed to let us into the house. So you had to get back when your curfew was up. Amen? My God. He showed wisdom when he told me that this guy I was dating, that re relationship wasn't going to last. Oh we were, t uh, Daddy and I, we were on the, the, the front terrace, and he said to me, what about that? The guy's name was Trevor. He said, what happened to Trevor? I said, Daddy, it didn't work out. And he said, I knew that wasn't going to go anywhere. So I said to him, why didn't you say something to me? Why didn't you tell me? He said that I had to find out for myself. Amen. Because he didn't want to influence my thoughts in this relationship. Amen. Matthew chapter 7 verse 9 through 11 reads, Or what man is there among you? Who, if his son asks for bread, will you give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will you give him a serpent? If you then, be evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask of him? In other words, he's saying, if your earthly father, who is a good father, would not give you anything that is harmful, how much more God? To me, the everlasting father is like my daddy to the millionth degree, if there is such a thing. My earthly father went to be with the Lord about 15 years now, but my everlasting father is still here. I can't call on my daddy anymore if I need anything, but I can call on the earthly father. He comforts me when I need comforting. He sees me for who I am. I don't have to change myself. Oh, yes. I don't have to change anything about me because he gets me. Amen? Amen? He gets me. The Bible says that when I was in my mother's womb, yes. when I was just like a, a pinprick, oh, okay. God saw me in my mother's womb yes. and he watched over me through the whole nine months I was in her belly. So that her body did not miscarry me. Amen. But I was brought to fruition. So God gets me. He knows me. I can call on the everlasting father for help. 
I can call on the everlasting Father for guidance. If I need a doctor in the sick room, he is there. Many of you know my testimony. There were times when I would just pass out. My earthly father was not with me then, but my everlasting father was there watching over me. Amen. Praise the Lord. When I passed out and was having seizures on the floor, my everlasting father was watching over me. If I need a lawyer in the courtroom, he is there. The everlasting father is omnipresent, meaning that he is always present. Yes. Yes. Psalm 139 and 8 says, if I send, ascend up into heaven, yes. you are there. Yes. If I make my bed in hell, yes. behold, you are there, you are there, yes. there also. Yes. Yes. So he's always present. Oh. Amen. He's present with us when we are on the train. He's present with us when we are on the bus. Wherever we're going, we're taking a road trip, he's there. Amen. He's always there. All, he's, all we have to do is just call out to him. He's there. The everlasting Father is omniscient. Yes, yes, yes. He's all knowing. Yes. He knows everything. Yes. There is nothing that you can hide from him. Oh, you know, sometimes we talk about, we have this thing about white lie and black lie and whatever lie. But God knows them all. Oh, Jesus. He knows them all. He can't hide anything from him. He knows it all. The Bible says that his eyes roam throughout through the earth yes. looking yes. at the children of men. Oh my God. Amen. So he's all knowing. Yes. Talk about it, all the know. everlasting Father oh, yeah. is omnipotent. Yes, he is. He's is all powerful. Yeah. The rulers of this world, including the politicians. Oh, my God. May think that they have all the power. Oh, Jesus. They think they have all the power, and that's why they want to create all these voter restriction rules and everything. Talk about it, but they don't have anything on the everlasting Father. Oh, yes. Amen. His power is beyond our yes, is. finite knowledge. Yes, 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 yes. Bible said that he, from before the earth was formed, yes, yes, yes. he was, yes, yes. and he still is. Because he's the same God yesterday, yes, yes. today, yes, yes. and forever. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes, yes. So he's present everywhere. He knows all things. And he's all powerful. Isn't it a good feeling to know that our God is like that? The everlasting Father is like that. Yes. Amen. And it is like it, there is no there is no end to him. Yes. There is no end to him. He's the Alpha. And he's the Omega. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The beginning yes. and the yes. end. Yes. Yes. Amen. Glory. And we can call him Abba Father. Hallelujah. He is our Father. Yes. Yes. Amen. Glory. And the Bible tells us also that we are not stepchildren. Right. Amen. Amen. We are not stepchildren. Oh, no, no, no. We are sons and daughters, heirs of Christ. Yes. And because we are heirs of Christ, we can ask our everlasting Father for anything. Yes. As long as we are not using it to for our lust. My Amen. Lord. And we are calling on Him and asking Him for those things that are pleasing to Him. Yes. 
He is there for us. Hallelujah. Things of God, I, I, I don't know. It's just like having your father and having an earthly father and having a relationship with him. It's like it just explains to you and make it more plain to you what God the Father, the everlasting Father is to us. Yes, Amen? Yes. Because your earthly father might fail, yes. but your heavenly father, your everlasting father, he will not fail Hallelujah. you. Yes, yes. He loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son. Yes. To come and die for your sins. Yes. And not only that, he let your spirit man know that if you were the only person on this earth, he would still do it for you. Yes. All right, yes, 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 yes. He would still do it for you. For as the word of God says, greater love has no man than this, yes. than that he laid down his life yes. for his fellow man. Yes. Saints, I, I know I, I love my husband, I love my sister, but I, I'm not going to promise you that I'm going to go and stand in the front of a bullet for them. Jesus. Not going to promise it. you that. Talk about it, okay. But God loves us so much. Yes, yes. He loves us so Fight much. I know that sometimes... I know that Minister Lewis and I were talking about this the other day. God probably look at us and just laugh at us. Because he's like, look at her. Look at her. She worrying herself and over this and over that. And I already provided it for her. All she has to do is just wait. Just wait. She's going to get it. I love her. I'm going to give her no good thing. Thank you. Oh, the they have no good thing will he withhold yes, yes. from them that walk uprightly. Yes. And he just look at me sometimes, just like my own early father would too, and just laugh and shake his head. Oh, look at her. She's worrying about this. She's worrying about that. It's in my word that I'm going to give it to her. But no, she can't wait. She come and pray about it. She leave it at the altar, and then when she leave it at the altar, she take it right back up with her. And he just looking at me and laughing. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. And just as our earthly father would be a cheerleader for us and encourage us, that's how our everlasting father is Amen. with us. He's cheering us on. Yes, yes. When we fall down, he's there saying, My child, get back up. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Get back yes, up. Yes, yes, yes. As Donna McClurkin said, I get back up again. That's right. Amen. Amen. Get back up again. Oh, God. And we can't see him, but I can just see him in my spiritual eye, lending me a hand to get right back up again. That's the everlasting Father that we serve because He loves us so, 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 so much. Amen, saints of God. We can't even fathom the love when we think about it. Our finite minds can't even seem to grasp this love that God has for us. Amen. Amen. An everlasting love. An everlasting love. A love that will endure the test of time. That is how much our everlasting Father loves us. Even after our generation is gone, God will still be the everlasting Father for generations to come yes, will. if they will have him. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. If you don't know him today, Jesus. he is waiting with open arms yes. Oh, yes. for you to come to know him 
in the beauty of his holiness. Yes, Hallelujah. Oh God, to know him as God the Father, the everlasting Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. He is the everlasting Father, saints of God. He does not slack off his job. Hallelujah. He does not slack off child payments. Amen. Oh my God. He don't, he don't. No, no, no. Because he's always there. He's always present. He's always looking out for us. He's always looking out for our best interests. You know, sometimes we're walking on the street. And we don't know what God saved us from. Uh, he may Jesus. have saved us from a flying bullet. Jesus. 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 He may have saved us from an accident yes. while we were crossing the street. So many times. And we don't even know it. Sarah. Jesus. Jesus. We, yes, don't, he don't, we don't even know it. So Jesus. many times. Let us trust him today. Yes. yes. Let us trust him. Probably your father was absent when you were growing up. But know that your yeah, heavenly father, yes. he has Always been there. Yes. Always been there. He has been Hallelujah. there. Yes. Oh God, I have been reading some books lately. And I've been reading about things that some women have gone through in their lives. Rape, my God. Jesus. sodomy, Jesus. My God. all these things, Jesus. but they came out strong. Hallelujah. Oh, Glory. They came out strong. Jesus. Who do you think that kept their mind grace. from Jesus. going crazy? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 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 Grace. Much grace. Who do you think one man, he owed the mob some money, Jesus. and they came into his house to extract payment from him. And he said, here, take my wife. Jesus. Take my wife. Jesus, Jesus. And then when they did with her all that they wanted to do with her, oh he, her, her own husband turned around and beat her up so badly. Jesus. She was in the hospital for about three months. Jesus. And people asked her, how can you stand? Jesus. Jesus. How come you're not in the loony bin? Jesus. But God kept her. I hope yes, Lord. Lord. Yes. God kept her. Jesus. The everlasting Father kept her. Jesus. And the everlasting Father will keep you too. Yeah. As I said before, your earthly father may have been absent, but your heavenly father has always been there. Yes, yes, yes. And you might say, where is God in this situation? Where is God in this situation? But sometimes, saints of God, we got to go through some rough storm. We got to go through some rough storms in order to be strong in the end. But he is there. Know that he is there. Yes, he is. Amen. Won't you accept him as your everlasting father Hallelujah. today? Hallelujah. As I say, he's standing Hallelujah. with his arms oh, wide open. Glory, 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 glory. And he wants you to come to him. Hallelujah. So that he can hug you with his love. Oh, yes. Jesus. So that he can hug you with his protection. Yes, yes. Jesus. Can he, so that he can love you with his Providence. You know the, way you take the Bible says he's Jehovah Jireh, yes, my provider. Oh, he's there waiting. Oh, yes, he is. He's there waiting to just come and hug you Jesus. and let you know Jesus. how much Hallelujah. he loves you. Hallelujah. The everlasting Father. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Jesus. Father God, as we come before you today, we just want to thank you for this word, oh God. We want to accept you as our 
Heavenly Father, as our everlasting Father, we want to accept you into our hearts and in our minds and our lives today. Lord, we confess that we have not acknowledged you. We confess that sometimes you were talking to us and you were trying to get our attention, but we just shrugged you off. Jesus. We confess, Lord, that we did that, Lord. And we ask that you will forgive us today, Lord, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Lord. Oh, Father God, we want to be your child, oh God. We want to be in the shelter of your arms, oh God, and under the shadow of your wings, oh God. Oh, Jesus, accept us today as we pray, Lord. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, Lord, to die on Calvary's cross so that we might be washed clean with the blood that was shed on that cross, oh God. We thank you today. We praise you, we glorify you, we lift you up, and we magnify your holy name. Make us clean before you today. As Psalm 51 says, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me, O oh God. Lord, we acknowledge that our life is, lives are nothing without you, Lord. It's almost as if it's not worth living without you, O oh God. But Lord, you can make our lives worth living. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The remain that you alone know the number of the years for us as man, how long we shall be on this earth. Yes. But Lord, we know also that if we accept you as our Lord and Savior, as our everlasting Father, that you can make the remainder of our years count. Able. Oh God, for you. You're able. So, Lord, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. We thank you for joining us today on, on our sanctuary of praise and worship service. And we look forward to seeing you on, our another, on, our, on next Sunday for our next service. Bye-bye.